Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your reading on this beautiful weekend that it is. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you have a good week coming up. You can apply these messages. However, I feel when you see it, it's the right time or it will be the right time. We're getting some Palo Santo lit and inviting your spirit team, your spirit guides, your angels, our angels uh, to help guide this reading too. <clears throat> feeling the energy feeling the energy I am I have been literally it's not a time to force anything it doesn't feel like it it feels like I have um, <clears throat> I have to do things like within my own flow and <laughs> sometimes that involves like like hot and cold like um Waking up, having some energy, popping a few readings out, and then be like, you know what? I need a nap. I need to. <laughs> I need to charge. I need to not force anything. No, it's just a real a feeling. It's an energy to work with. Energy to work with. All right. So Gemini, and thank you for liking, subscribing, as usual. And if you're returning, thank you. If you'd like a private reading, those are $24. They're in the description box below. And I can get one that's a recorded reading for you based on what you asked me <clears throat> to ask these beautiful cards, the sun. <clears throat> a few more shuffles. A few more shuffles, and we're here with the Elder of Air or the King of Swords on the bottom. To her death, oh, a choice. If you're really putting in um, some kind of work to, towards your craft or skill or ability here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, underlying issue, the Elder of Air. <clears throat> Makes me feel like reaching out to somebody about how to properly invest in yourself. Or how to do so. Especially if you get like get the funds to be able to invest in yourself. It's like um, a professional or something. Let me get I'm gonna get one card for here this current energy, the future energy, and then this outcome. I'll get one for the outcome, too. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, well, investing in yourself. Ace of Cups in reverse, investing in yourself. Some kind of main, main ending here. The heart is healing. The heart is healing. I have the Hierophant in the reverse for the past. So this is you coming out of some kind of formal that was a formal commitment of some kind what else about the hierophant in the reverse gemini's yeah it's coming it's coming out of a commitment where you just felt underappreciated <clears throat> whoa <laughs> underappreciated it was always an issue of, of really uh, of things that needed to work better together or better, more cohesive. But I'm not sure how much cooperation there was in that. Maybe you were guided also by somebody. It could be a mentor or somebody that uh, you look up to emotionally. They're a very strong, balanced person that said, hey, 
you're not being appreciated enough. Here, let's get, let's exit this. Or maybe this was just you that told you that. Great fortune. And imprisonment. <laughs> and then sudden wealth. So, could be an issue with trying to get up the funds to help you move on so that one, you could start investing in yourself and what it is that you really wanted. Laying down the groundwork for your great fortune. It was the issue. Hidden meaning, the well, community, hidden emotions. Well, that's definitely something that could be revealed to you during this eclipse season. True feelings, support, savings, perception, sustenance, looking deeper, wanting more sustenance out of your commitments, your relationships, searching for that. Knowing that you do have options, but with the two of earth being the challenge, it could have been like, um, well, okay, so you have this, you have the death card, you have this big, big ending, right? And then what are your choices? Could have been hard to see choices during that time. Or what your choices were. Oh, but something is... Look, Ace of Swords, guys. Something is picking up. You have truth and clarity that is going to be... It's going to allow you to be well on your way, on your journey. Pick things that are going to pick up speed. Choices that are coming... Um, Allowing you to enjoy the here and the now. It could have been that you were in some type of formal commitment too. Even with a job that maybe it was paying very well. But there was something that had to end because there was there needed to be deeper meaning or sustenance in your partnerships. No matter what area of the partnership was. <clears throat> cancer energy twice. And this is something that you really just felt. It was like a feeling to your core that something had to change. It's for your victory. You knew that. You knew that. You knew that either transformation or big end was going to lead you to this. Tell me about the four of air. Getting past a roadblock or what felt like a stalemate. <clears throat> Could have been undecided for a while. And the heart is saying, yeah, let's take some time out to rest, heal. Give me, give me more on the two of swords, reverse and the four of swords. You are that, dang, another ten. It's timing. Ten, ten. It's timing. Uh, there's something about the timing being right. Okay, for something new, because this is like the goal here. The Ten of Coins is the goal. It's more. It's not just about great fortune. It's about safety, security, and protection for everyone. And so it's like the heart had to take a time out to reevaluate what it was committed to. This Page of Cups is something new. Whether that looks new in the way your partnerships or things like that have to do with in love or a makeover glow up makeover for a job for what you do for work it's going to lead to a big completion here and um, prosperity wealth with the ten of pentacle hmm and then the ten of wands is like um a completion excuse me <laughs> dr pepper zero uh, it's the best but it makes you burp um it's a completion like with the things that you're having to carry or that you feel like you have to carry because there's a new cycle, a new season, good fortune coming. <clears throat> and there's something that you're really good at. Okay, because I have the eight of earth. There's something that you are just very good at that you've hit some type of mastery level with. Maybe regarding your work or what you work on. It's going to give you a new start, a fresh new start, a new journey. The fool is, a, is an energy that's come down from the mountain there, already enlightened, ready for the next phase, ready to start something new. 
with maybe with this gifts with these gifts with these abilities with your ability to like really master something on the practical what's the knight of air king of swords in the reverse so with the king of swords being as the issue on the underlying issue and then it coming out in the golden destiny with the knight of air there's some type of block change or delay that can be figured out rather easily with this person who's a professional or knows a little bit about what they do yeah change in the reverse that's so i'm right it's 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 blocked it's a blocked change she just needs some expert advice on you just need some expert advice or you yourself need to step into that role of i'm the expert i'm if i don't have the information i'll go get it you know what i mean but not to stop yourself from having this change it will be worth it this is accumulation whatever it is your uh, gifts your abilities are doing good wow nine nine it's time to release what you've been carrying any kind of suffering um you're here for the cause you have divine favor something is being revealed to you it, it also comes with the windfall of of money nine of earth it's changing up something that has something that you do for work or on the every single day level it's realizing how you really feel how if you feel confident about something or not <clears throat> whatever you went through here in the past could have really did a, a number to your self-esteem or hit you to where it's you have to find the courage now to make a big change But you're being influenced by this energy already of like, okay, you do this. This is what's going to come. Remember, it's something about divine favor with the work that you do, the type of work, uh, heeding a call, purpose, uh, feeling like you're here for a reason. And it has something to do with your work, too. Yeah, especially if you're looking for, like, like if there's an issue with money finances like having that type of an issue as i see being in despair or saddened having to give something up or it feels like that but what you would be gaining would be a lot more actually okay justice is how you're feeling so the scales are are balancing okay with justice the scales are balancing they're balancing out Oh, for some of you, all this four of air is about recovery, physical recovery, not forcing yourself too much, to getting things back in balance, maybe within your body, even. It's interesting. We have the red door, the blue door on this card. It's like an um, energy shift. Do you want to stay in a place where it was even affecting your health? So it could be even stress level. Or do you want to be extremely comfortable, no wealthy man, knowing what right actions to take towards your money? You have you have something really big coming in, actually. It's going to come in right when you feel like there's no hope. I lost I've lost hope in this. There's something to recover from. You'll recover. Take care of yourself. Take care of your heart. Take care of yourself physically. Um, there might be a reason I started off with saying, you know, sometimes I have to feel like here lately, physically, especially, um, like it is good to get exercise and things like that. But when the energy is saying, hey, let's slow down, you feel exhausted for a reason, either finding out what that reason is, either nutrient that we're lacking, or it's a, it's a situation around us, some type of energy. This could be about rest, recovery. So the nine of earth though is is um uh, with it coming out with a cross next to it, it it looks like it's like your divine inheritance like it, it's all yours it's always been all yours, <clears throat> and now this is like the worthiness to accept it it's and that also includes maybe accepting help from others including the form of like advice because I'm just really getting that message, even in the form of advice, 
Tell me about Elder of Water. There's the Knight of Air twice in the reverse now. Delayed change. It's time to put down the burdens, to lay down your burdens. Stop carrying everything for everyone else. It's stressful. There's something about this stressful. You can't take care of everyone else if you have still to take care of yourself. The Empress in reverse might be somebody who does need to work on figuring out how do I best take care of myself so that I can take care of others when I need to. The microphone here, news, trending, broadcast, expression, a strong opinion to make known, current events, public speaking, speak truth, communicate, social media, being heard, speaking up. And the seven of fire is doing that. I might be speaking up on how to take care of yourself the best way. Maybe it's advice. Giving, maybe you would be giving advice. Because of some kind of big ending or transformation you've had in your life. And how you invest in yourself, you the new cycle, how you decided to invest in yourself, make wise investments. Seven of fire, feeling that energy ramp up. Um, asserting yourself, speaking up for yourself. And there's a cycle completion, the world in reverse. Somebody who really wants to compete for your heart space, I feel, I feel like they're maybe waiting on you to complete a cycle. <clears throat> I don't, to wrap something up, it's a high level um, commitment here with the Hierophant. It's a divinely guided um, match and it's happening sooner than you think. Whatever, whatever it is, this two of ones is saying like your uh, paths and possibilities, they're wide open, they're opening up. Not what you're expecting. Something even more. Uh, so now the time um, to focus. But um, well-intended, good focus on whatever has not been changing or what has been delayed. What else about this outcome here? How to move forward. Good news coming in. And, there, and it involves travel, right? It involves travel and something moving forward that you've been wanting to move forward. Wealth. This is a continuing of something you've already been working on that does pretty good for you. I don't know if it's a hobby or something you do on the side, but it's already starting to pay off. And this is like it expanding. Like if if you if you if you say your project's like your baby, then this is it in its adolescent stages. You may have something new. To build the tower here, you, you have to focus on your health. That's coming out again. Wealth is coming out twice. Eleven, eleven. Okay. And marriage. A snake. A snake. Could have competition. You could have people not saying good things about you. Could be slander, something like that. I have deep thoughts. You're in somebody's thoughts a whole lot. They're about to communicate with you because you're a new version of you. Here's the letter. Whatever they communicate or this person that you communicate with, like something about them holding the key. There's also an energy with the elder of air, or the, I'll say it again with king of air, of somebody being a professional that can provide a key or a solution for you that you're looking for. And then deep in thoughts, this person, it's almost like with the book, keeping it a secret, uh, that Cupid has literally hit this person's brain can't not stop, and heart, can't stop thinking about you. Gemini, that's what I've got. It could lead to something good. It's like I said, this person wants to compete for your heart space. But there's feeling like you have to focus on something right now or some kind of main change that maybe you've been delaying or putting off. Look, there's Cupid. There's Cupid. Sorry about that. Number two, Cupid. Cupid dissolve -y. <laughs> dissolve you. I'm thinking dissolve there, right? Uh, keep you dissolve. Oh, 
dissolve you. It's time to let go. Things are working out in their own way. Trust that your heart is wise and is leading you on a soul healing journey to the right spiritual path. Spirit wants to bring you a blessing and a resolution. See? A blessing and a resolution. But you must let go and allow it to happen. Events are unfolding according to a higher plan. Even if your plans are going awry, know that all will come together at the right time and in the best way possible. So surrender your struggle and hold on to your faith. It's talking about how, being able to let go of, of control to just allow. Giving it to God, to your faith, to your spirit. 28, I'm a leader to accomplish great things here. You recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable, compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. I am a leader. And that's what I've got for you, Gemini. I am sending you love. Bye.